All right, so this is unit one, lesson nine, um, and this is gonna be a little bit of a hard lesson, okay? Because um, we have some confusing concepts that we're gonna be working on, um, so I really need you to be paying close attention, okay? Because um, this is uh, sometimes a little bit confusing even for me. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with uh, subtracting, because um, that's, that's really what we're after, different, um, forms of uh, subtraction in this lesson. Um, so we're gonna start off with a lot of zeros on top, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. Um, so we can go ahead and just cross all of these out, okay? And then kind of how this works is we end up taking everything from over here, okay? And so we decompose one of our thousands, then we put it right here, but then we have to decompose one of the hundreds, which leaves us with nine, so we can have something to subtract over here, then we have to decompose one of the tens to put something over in our ones place. I will show you what I mean. It sounds very confusing, but I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've got my drawing here. These are my thousand bars, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take apart one of my thousand bars, and I'm going to turn it into ten, ten, ten hundreds, I mean. So we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So I took that and I turned it into 10 hundreds, okay? So that's what would be right here, but I need something to subtract the four, right? So I have to decompose one of my hundreds. So I'm gonna take it apart and I'm gonna turn that into 10 tens. So now I only have nine hundreds, just like right here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So one of those hundreds is now a bunch of tens. But we need to take one of these apart so that we can get some ones to subtract our ones over here. So we're going to decompose one of our tens and turn it into ten ones. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to go back to this and then show you how it matches. Okay, so we've got ten minus five, which equals five, nine minus four, which also equals five, nine minus three which equals six, and three minus two, which equals one, okay? So I'm gonna take this number and start subtracting down here. So I need to take away five of my ones, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, and I'm left with five ones. So that matches right there, okay? Then I have my nine tens. I need to take away four of them one, two, three, four, which leads me with five of these. So we're matching pretty well so far, right? Um, I have a nine and a three. So I have to take three of my hundreds. One, two, three, I'm left with six. So this matches up quite nicely. Then I have to take away two of my thousands, which leaves me with one thousand. So it all kind of matches up, okay? Um, so I'd like you to go ahead and give this problem a try now that I've shown you this. Um, now something to keep in mind is that because this number the 4,000 is the same. It's going to look pretty much the same on the top. It's just going to look a little bit different on the bottom. If you think that the drawing will help, 
go ahead and do the drawing. If you think it's going to confuse you, don't do it. Okay, moving on to a, another uh, way that might be uh, slightly confusing, I guess you could say. Okay, so this is ungrouping from left to right, um, something that a lot of people don't really do a whole lot, but that's okay. We're going to do it anyway um, and see if you like it. If you like it, awesome. You can do your math this way, okay? So, once again, we're going to start by just crossing all of these out. And so, I know that I've got to do a little bit of unbundling all the way across here, right? Because these numbers are all bigger than my numbers up here. So, I've got three. So, I'm going to move my thousand over here, which gives me sixteen hundreds. But then I have to decompose the 16 hundreds, so I only have 15, which turns this into 12 tens, but then I have to decompose one of those. I have to take that apart, so I only have 11, and then that comes all the way over here, so I have 15 ones now. So I have 15 minus 7, which is 8. I have 11 minus 8, which is 3, 15 minus 9, 6, 3 minus 2, which is 1. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, once again, I have a very similar problem right here for you to try. Um, so you can go ahead and pause, give that a try. Um, and these are these. This is uh, these are the problems that I'd like you to uh, bring to class, and we'll we'll go over them and kind of talk about which method you preferred. Okay. Um, so down here we have the traditional right to left, um, and so we're actually going to be using the same numbers that we used up here, um, just to keep it kind of simple. So. Um, Got my five, obviously I can't take seven away. So I'm going to cross these two out. That leaves me with a one and the fifteen, because remember we move that those ten ones. We we decompose a ten and we move the ten ones over here. Just like we did in the drawing up there, okay? So we've got our fifteen minus our seven equals 8. Now I can't do 1 minus 8, right? So I have to decompose my 6. That becomes an 11, just like up here. So 11 minus 8 is still 3, believe it or not. Um, I can't do 5 minus 9, so I have to decompose this. Now I've got 15 minus 9 equals 6. 3 minus 2 equals 1. So we end up with the same answer. Um, and, and once again, I'd like you to try that method on this problem. Okay, so go ahead and give that a shot. And um, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more um, tomorrow. Okay, so here's where... Um, we have a couple of, uh, I guess you could say, special situations. Um, right here we've got a zero, and uh, that complicates things, um, you know, just just a little bit, right? Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna give this one a shot, and go from there. And I'm going to be using the the right to left. Um, just because it's a little bit, um, it makes a little bit more sense, okay? So, here's what we're going to do. So, we obviously can't take 6 away from 3. It's, you know, impossible, so we're going to have to decompose, but there's a 0 here, right? So, here's how I would do this. Cross through 
both numbers. And so you can kind of look at this as almost like a, like a 70, if you will. And we're just going to take one away from that. So that leaves us with the 6 and the 9, right? And then we can take the 10 that we took apart right here. Can put it right there so we have a 13 minus the 6 okay so that equals 7 we have a 9 minus a 6 which equals 3 now we can't do 6 minus 9 right um, so we're gonna have to decompose this so that becomes a 1 that becomes a 16 16 Minus 9 equals 7. 1 minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so we end up with 737. Um, so once again, I use the same number on both of these so that you can kind of copy me a little bit. Um, and maybe that'll help you out, okay? So once again, you just take this, you cross them both out. You've got your 6 and your 9. And then you have your 13, and, and then you go from there, okay? Um, down here, it's a little bit different as well, because we have the same digit right here. But the problem is, we're going to have to decompose this, because we've got a 3 minus a 7, which we can't do. So we're going to go ahead and decompose that. Now, that kind of messes this up now, because we have a 7 minus an 8, which we can't do either, okay? So we'll just kind of go across one by one and, and do it one at a time. So we've got 13 minus 7, which equals 6. Now we're going to have to decompose. So that becomes a 3. We move our 10 over, and so that becomes a 17, okay? So we have 17 um, minus the 8, okay? And that, of course, is going to leave us with 9. 3 minus 6, we can't do it, so we're going to have to decompose again. So we have 13 minus 6, which equals 7. Then 4 minus 1, which equals 3. I know this is kind of complicated. We're going to be working on this for a little while. Uh, so don't panic if this is confusing to you. And the great thing about having this as a video is you can always rewind and watch it again. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, so once again, use the, uh, the same number up top. Um, I kept this digit the same just to kind of show where that issue might come up. Um, so I'd like you to go ahead and uh, give this one a shot. And like I said, if it doesn't quite work out, don't panic. We'll be going over this again tomorrow. All right.